Ash is with us in Illinois. Hi, Ash. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Um, I just found out from my roommate that I am getting my wages garnished. And I was wondering, is there any way to stop a garnishment without bankruptcy? Because I don't want to go down that route. How did your roommate know your wages were being garnished? Uh, he called me and told me I had a letter in the mail because I'm an over-the-road truck driver. And it said, wait, garnishment on it. I had him open it and read it to me immediately. Does it threaten it, or it says it's occurring on a certain date? Um, it says that the order was granted on July 19th, and it's about to start. Okay. Uh, and it... Uh, all right, because here's the thing. A lot of collectors will threaten wage garnishment in a way that sounds like it is definitely occurring, um, and they're lying. They haven't done anything yet. So I'm a little bit wondering if that's happening or if they have actually sued you one and are now executing on the judgment with an actual wage garnishment. They could. What kind of debt is this? Um. Well, I, I'm actually looking at the court order right now i just downloaded it on my tablet okay and it's from a training program that i that i attended back in 2002 okay and how much do you owe them um the actual judgment amount is 11,000 but they are collecting 22,000 Okay, they can't collect more than the judgment amount, so there's something wrong with that. But, I mean, the judgment, if the judge gave them the ability to collect 22000 that's the judgment. But, um, uh, so anyway, how was the original debt 11000 Um, uh, The original cost of the training, I believe, was about 5000 mm -hmm. which I was paying on, but due to my own stupid decisions during a time of crisis for me, I ended up in prison for a couple of years. Oh, my goodness. And I just got... How long have you been, how long have you been out? I got out in 2015. Okay. But I started going back down the same route that I was on before I went to prison. Mm -hmm. And then, which... I'm not going to lie, it involved a lot of drugs and alcohol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I woke up one day and I said, I'm tired of this life. And I got my CDL, started driving, and I've been clean and sober for a little over a year now. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Congratulations. Well done. Okay, so we're, we're turning things around. This is in the past, but we still got to clean it up, and part of being... Uh, becoming sober is dealing with the damage from the past. Agreed? Very much so. Okay, so uh, proud of you, man. Congratulations for turning your life around. So what do you make now? Um, it varies. Like last week, I only brought home $400 because I didn't get very many miles the week before. But it all depends on how many miles I get every week what do you usually get but on average about 800 a week okay all right so you're making about 45 fifty thousand a year right uh i'm on pace to make about 45 this year yeah okay good okay um and you've been dry for a year do you have any other debts that you're paying on um actually i've been pulling everything off of Credit Karma, getting in touch with all the creditors and trying to get them to let me make small payments and mm -hmm. stuff like that. How many things are you and, making? How many things are you making payments on now? Uh, right now I've got one, two, three, four that I'm making payments to right now. Okay. Not including the garnishment. Gotcha. Because here, here's what's running through my mind mathematically. 
if we could, if you could figure out a way to just live on nothing and scrape money together, scrape money together, scrape money together, and you were to offer these people $5,000 as a settlement on this debt, cash on the barrel head, they'll probably take it. Okay. And because they probably think they're not going to get all their money after this, after this amount of time. And um, so... Uh, with it being a training from a school that you did attend, uh, this probably is a wage garnishment. It is the type of thing that would sue and would go all the way to garnishment, so it's probably a valid document that you probably are getting garnished. The only way to stop that is to pay them some amount that they agree to in cash. So it might be that you get garnished for one month, right? And during that month, okay. you... During that month, you just work like a thousand hours and do anything you can do, whatever you can do. You sell everything. Don't pay anybody else for that month uh, on all the other old bad debts and scrape together like five grand and offer them five grand. I don't know if you could pull that off in one month or not. It might take two months, but something like that is probably would settle it with them and make them go away. Um, they're not going to just allow you to start making payments. They're going to take it out of your check. They got you now. All right. They got you where they want you now. You're not in a strong position anymore. So um, bankruptcy does not solve it uh, un unless you filed a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, which dismisses all unsecured debt and starts fresh. That's the clean slate bankruptcy. How much other debt have you got total? Uh, total, I've got it figured out to be about 28000 Including this or on top of this? Including this. Oh, wow. So you don't have much other. This whole thing is I just mean, about it then. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's 1200 here, 1000 here. Yeah. yeah. It's not much whatsoever with so the others. So if you can was, solve these guys, you can beat those other guys off pretty quick. They're mosquitoes. Yeah, because, I mean, before I went through my time of crisis and ended up in prison, I used to listen to you every day, and I started working the baby steps. I was on baby step two, and then I had a, like I said, I had a personal crisis, which ended up with me in prison. Yeah. And. How old are you? I am 40 years old. Okay, good. Well, I'm proud of you getting sober and staying sober for a year. Well done. Proud of you being responsible and addressing these issues. That's the kind of thing you need to do, which helps your sobriety. It also helps your career, helps your future. Everything you're doing is smart and wise. It's a better path that you're on. Very well done, sir. I want you to go through Financial Peace University. It's all online now, which works well for a truck driver. Um, I want you to go through as my guest. I'm going to give it to you and be part of your newfound sobriety, okay? Okay. All right, you hold on. Madison will pick up, and we're going to get you signed up for Financial Peace University. Well done, sir. Well done. Open phones at 888-825-5225. You jump in. We'll talk about your life and your money. Brave young man there. Brave to fight through that. Um, been through some obvious stuff. I've done a lot of stupid stuff in my life. Have you? Have you? <laughs> See... Financial problems are almost never the problem, Larry Burkett used to say. They're the symptom. And when I had financial problems, they were the symptom of my stupidity. What about you? Now, that's what Ash has got. He went through his stupid period, and now he's got the full crop of stupid coming in, and he's having to clean it up. But the good news is, you don't have to do it again. You can make choices for the rest of your life that don't leave you in that situation. Me too. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.